a weekend show. And then also, it's quite a big ask, you know, will you not come and give me your Saturday night and stuff like that? And so, you could be elsewhere having other fun as well. So, I do appreciate you coming out. Oh my god, I'm not just saying it because I said the last time. There's a beach on my stadium, there was a fucking cricket. I saw a pop coach, he just dropped on my team, I think he just dropped on my back and said, oh my god, run for your life. I'm loving it, Mark Life. We've got my own little sanctuary up here. I'm loving it. Script and it was amazing um, to read 
something that wasn't a trashy gossip magazine. It was amazing to read something that had some thought put into it. Um, and it was a privilege and honour to be involved in something, you know, so very British and so very um, iconic. And um, I won an Oscar for it, can you believe that? so off my face on hormones that I had, I don't really remember much from that whole first year to be honest, I'm sure some of you will agree when you have your own, but I had my own version of events that happened at the Oscars and my husband, he very kindly lets me tell those version of events and then has to say to everyone on the lowdown, she doesn't actually remember it, that's not actually what happened, entertain her for a minute, but just so you know, it's not viable. Um, but it was incredible and I love singing this song, um, I'd like to hear you, these are the wonderful gentlemen around us that are going to help us out in the choruses. This is Skyfall.
song. Um, I know there's something different about it, and I've been singing it for nearly 10 years now, and every single night that I sing it, I sing it from a different place. I sing it from how I'm feeling that particular day. Um, thank you, my darling, fresh hot honey, thank you so much. This is Adam, everybody. Say hello to Adam. <laughs> Today it's not been anything groundbreaking, like I said, I haven't really felt much today. I woke up at 12, went for a 10 minute run, had some lunch and came down here, that's what I did. Um, so I can sing it from that place today, but um, you know, I feel very far from home. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy to be here, but we are very far away from England, aren't we? We are. Oh, we actually are. I don't know we actually are, but we actually, actually are. Um, and I miss my man, he's not here yet. And, um, I can't even find time to FaceTime because when I wake up he goes to sleep, when I go to sleep he's like going to work or something like that. So I can sing it from that place maybe rather than waking up on a good day and going for a run and having lunch. I sing it from that missing place. But I, like I said a minute ago, I've um, got all I'm doing is repeating myself and rambling. It's because so many of you, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Although I didn't meet a koala yesterday. I met a koala. I did. And I met a kangaroo, and the, the kangaroo had a little bit of joey in her bag, which I love. It's basically a baby girl. Basically, they stole the idea from kangaroos, didn't they? And what else did I mean? Oh my god, I fed a crocodile. Fuck, I should have talked about that earlier. I fed a crocodile. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, not up, not up close. It was probably about 20 feet away. <laughs> Still, the experience. Actually, someone videoed it for you on my phone, but you actually can't see anything because it was so far away. But still. I did that, went for a swim. Just trying to tell you what I've been doing. Um, oh god, yeah, I watched Ant Man. <laughs> that's probably about it, yeah, that's probably it. And obviously, we were in Perth, that was pretty hot as well. Thank god it's not raining by the way tonight, isn't it? Good? like 10 minutes ago but lost my path as usual is um 10 years ago um almost my first album came out and this song was on it and i used to play tiny places i used to you know, be an opening act and stuff like that normally to no one um, but whoever was there i would ask them to get the torch out on their phones you know the flashlight on their mobile phones um i love you too and they would do it in these bars and then i was lucky enough to play theaters and they started doing that and i was in an arena tour now I'm doing a stadium tour and I can't tell you how next level it looks when you all get your lights on. And I know you might have run out of battery or you're saving it or you know to call your cab at the end, but hey, it's Saturday night, get lost in the world. Let's use a battery and get some lights up in the air. Keep going, there's a few of you down the front, get some more of your lights out. Look how beautiful you look. This is making you feel my love, and this is for any one of you tonight who is here with someone that you love.
t-shirts into the crowd. That's all right with you. I'll just wait here. Don't be alarmed because they're bloody massive, okay? They sound very rude. Let's put you down. I don't know. <laughs> you got it. Oh no, oh no, the fucking rain has started. <laughs> 